Um, so in the statement released today, you said that the purchase of Reagan Chemicals had been a game changer. How important was this acquisition, and are there any other ma major acquisitions in the pipeline? Obviously extremely important for us. If you look at our performance on operating level, uh, operating profit, it contributed 56 million out of the 137 million. Um, so definitely a significant contributor. Also recognizing the fact that we've grown 19% organically, uh, which we're very proud of. That's excluding that acquisition. Um, right now in the pipeline, nothing definite, um, but we certainly have a strong flow of suggestions coming through in terms of acquisitions. Great. Um, what were the key business performance drivers this year? Key business performance drivers, obviously we did uh, a lot of restructuring in our industrial division. Uh, we closed the lead chrome plant. Um, we've extended the product range in industrials. We've ensured that we optimally structured in, in terms of using um, current overhead structures with combining logistics capabilities um, and also moving the water division to the jet park site has contributed from a rented premises has contributed to to performance and and will do so going forward um, and then in agri despite the drought um, that was experienced during last year performance um, has been excellent in that division as well when we start evaluating our acquisitions and possibilities in terms thereof we would possibly like to add a fifth pillar um, that would contribute to uh, you know our group strategy uh, which is centered around providing food security and clean water. Um, so yes, that could very well happen. Um, when we look at performance drivers, um, just to elaborate a bit, in our agricultural division, we supply products into permanent and semi-permanent crops. It's high value, um, uh, high value, uh, low volume products. Uh, we've had a good year in agri despite the drought. Um, and that is due to the fact that the product ranges or the crops that we're supplying in are centered around irrigation areas. When we look at food, we've expanded into the Western Cape, um, KZN, Port Elizabeth, we're driving exports in that division um, and we were fortunate in terms of the volumes uh, and demand that was experienced in the food sector. Um, industrials, as I said, a lot of restructuring um, that's happened there. And then, of course, in water, we've had some tenders that weren't uh, allocated petrochemical and automotive that we were hope would come through in the year to come. Great. Um, what were the major challenges the group experienced this year? No different to any other business. In currency volatility, tough economic conditions, uh, locally, internationally. Um, and yeah, just in general, the drought in agri. So there's been a number of uh, number of difficult market and, and economic um, scenarios that we've had to deal with. But I think we coped well. Um, and what is the outlook for next year? Outlook for next year, if I look at uh, our performance to date, uh, definitely according to expectations, looking forward to all our initiatives that we implemented this year to come to full fruition next year. Um, the outlook's positive. Mm -hmm.